This video is about how to export code and data from our Studio Cloud so that you can either work on it on your own machine or share it with other people like submitting an assignment. And because we've been working with projects, this basically involves saving the entire folder of work that we've been doing. And we do this by coming down here to the Files tab and clicking on this checkbox next to the cloud. You'll see this highlights all of the files, and if we had any folders, it would also check the boxes next to those as well. And then we can come over here to the More button and select Export. And we now have the opportunity to name the file that we're going to download. It would be called RStudio Export by default, but if we wanted to call it something more descriptive, we could change that here. I'll call this Assignment 6. And then we can click the Download button, and that's going to download the file to our local computer. And I'm going to click on the arrow here and select Show in Folder. And so that will show me where I've downloaded this file to. Uh, it's inside my Downloads folder, which is where it will go by default. If you double click on this file, what you'll see is that it's a zip file. So that's a single file that contains all of the other files, all of the files, and all of the folders that were in our studio, including our, our project file and our analysis file. If I want to work with these files locally, I can then choose to extract them. And this will look a little different on each operating system, but there should be a button somewhere that says Extract. And then it will ask you where you want to extract them to. I might uh, go to my home directory and create a new folder called Assignment 6, and then extract them to there. And then it will give me the option to show files if I want to. And now we can see that we've got an Assignment 6 folder, which includes all of the files uh, that were present here uh, in our Studio Cloud. And I think one of them is hidden, uh, but if I hit Control H, we can see that .r history file is there as well. And if I wanted to go ahead and then open this project in our Studio, I could just come here and double click on the R project file. And this will open everything in our studio. We can see all of the project files here. And because we've been working with this as a project, uh, we should now be able to either click Source or select all of our lines and click Run and have everything execute uh, just like it did before, uh, producing graphs, doing analysis, and anything else that the code does. And so that's how you extract things locally. If you want to share them with someone else, you can just share that entire zip file with them. And so uh, here in my downloads directory is that assignment 6.zip. I could email this to someone else, uh, or I could upload it to Canvas to turn in an assignment. And so that's the basic idea of how we export work that we've done in our Studio Cloud to either share or work on locally. We click on the check mark next to the cloud, choose More, and Export. That will download a zip file that we can either extract to work with locally or share with others. And because we're working in projects, everything that someone needs to work with that our script will be packaged together, uh, including any data that we've downloaded, any figures that we've output, and so on.